Good evening, I'm Anderson Cooper, New York. Welcome to 360. We'll cover all the latest stories from around the globe. But first, let's go to today's special guest anchor from CNN's World Headquarters in Atlanta for a check of what's making headlines at this hour. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news, reporting from the CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta. I'm Callie. And I'm Ashley with a CNN News Update. Our top story this hour, a government agency on Tuesday said it will keep a rule in place that requires cell phones to be turned off during airplane flights. The reason behind this decision was technical. The agency has been considering lifting its ban on cell phone usage on airplanes since 2004. The FCC's concern is interference with other cell phone signals on the ground. In an order released Tuesday, the agency noted that insufficient technical information was available on whether airborne cell phone calls would jam networks below. Regardless of the reason, some passengers are no doubt pleased with the agency's decisions. The phones have been snapped shut for now, at least as far as the FCC is concerned, but the issue may come up again. In entertainment news, live earth concerts will be held July 7th in cities around the world, including London aimed at raising climate change awareness. Madonna, the Beastie Boys, the Black Eyed Peas, and others will headline. The concerts mark the start of a new campaign called Save Ourselves, a campaign for climate in crisis. The concerts will be broadcast in the U.S. by NBC Network and on more than 120 networks around the world. Promoters hope the concerts will reach an audience of 2 billion people. Proceeds will create a foundation to combat climate change led by the Alliance for Climate Protection, which is chaired by the former Vice President Al Gore. In business news, by the end of the decade, Darth Vader will be rattling sabers with his enemies above the heads of moviegoers. A growing number of movies are expected to be offered in 3D in the next few years. Thousands of theaters around the country are outfitted with special projectors and screens needed to show the films. So far, moviegoers have reacted positively to the few 3D films that have been released in the recent years. With newer systems, moviego moviegoers still need to don special glasses, but not the cheap cardboard variety with blue and red lenses. Film exhibition companies looking to protect their business believe 3D will boost revenue. And finally, we, know, we all know not to feed the animals when visiting the zoo. Now, the Antwerp Zoo has urged vid visitors to please stop staring at the chimpanzees. New rules have been posted outside the chimp enclosure at the city zoo, urging visitors not to form a bond with a particular male chimp named Cheetah. He was raised by humans, but is now bonding with seven other apes at the park. A sign posted on the glass enclosure asks onlookers not to stare at the apes. Look away when the animal seeks to make contact with you, or take a step back. The 160-year-old Antwerp Zoo is one, of the, is one of Europe's oldest animal parks, attracting around 1.3 billion visitors a year. And that's our report for now. For a check of any news, any time of the day, just log on to our website at CNN.com, AOL keyword CNN. Reporting from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Ashley. And I'm Callie. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.